Hi everyone, welcome to the second episode of our research writing series. Today, I'll be sharing with you how to write the Statement of the Problem or the SOP. The Statement of the Problem is one of the most important elements in our research manuscript because it gives us the direction of our study and at the same time, it guides the researcher as to what to measure, especially when we do quantitative research. There are two things that we have to bear in mind once we are writing our statement of the problem. First, the statement of the problem or the SOP must be aligned to our research title or to our research study. Second, there are two things that comprises the statement of the problem. First, the general objective and then second, the specific objectives. The general objective is written in statement form. It signifies the overall purpose of your study. If we are writing a general objective for a quantitative correlational research, our main purpose is to examine the relationship between two entities. For instance, if this is our research title, Senior High School Students' Level of Interpersonal Skills and Self-Esteem. So as you can see in the research title, we have two entities. First, the level of interpersonal skills, and the second is the level of self-esteem. We are going to prepare two set of instruments, one instrument that measures senior high school students' level of interpersonal skills, and another instrument that measures senior high school students' level of self-esteem. And the last thing that we're going to do is to check or to examine the relationship between the two if there is a connection. If the higher the interpersonal skills, the higher will be the self-esteem also. So we can check on that once we already have the data and then analyze them. If this is our research title, how are we going to write our statement of the problem? First is we're going to write the general objective. This will be our general objective. The study aims to examine the relationship between senior high school students' level of interpersonal skills and level of self-esteem. So basically, this is the whole objective of the, of the study. Then the next thing that we're going to do is to prepare the specific objectives. If general objective is written in statement form, the specific objectives are written in question form. These are the specific questions that the researcher must answer. For this research title, our first specific objective is, what is the level of students' interpersonal skills when taken as a whole and when grouped according to the following variables? First, we have sex. Second, socioeconomic status. And third, family type. So the first thing that we're going to do is to check the general scores, the general level of all the participants in your research. Second is to check their level of interpersonal skills depending on their group or, vari on, or the variables. We have here three variables variables. In sex, we can classify it into two categories, of course, the male and the female. While in socioeconomic status, we can group it into three classifications, the low-income generating family, middle-income generating family, and the high-income generating family. While in the last variable, the family type, we could categorize it into two, the nuclear family and the extended family. Now, we'll proceed to the second specific question or objective. The second is, what is the level of student self-esteem when taken as a whole and then grouped according to the following variables? Again, we make use of the same variable. We have sex, socioeconomic status, and family type. Actually, when we take a look at it, number one and number two has the same structure. The only difference is we use two different entities. In number one, our entity is the level of interpersonal skills, while in number two, our entity is the level of self-esteem. Now for the third question, is there a significant difference in the level of students' interpersonal skills when grouped according to the aforementioned variables? Earlier in the first two questions, the only thing that we need to gather are the level of interpersonal skills and self-esteem as a whole and when taken into group. While this one, man, we already are comparing the, the level of interpersonal skills when they are grouped according to the different classifications in the variables. Now let's proceed to the fourth one. It's the same structure with number three. However, we now use the second entity, which is the level of self-esteem. 
Number four is, is there a significant difference in the level of self-esteem when grouped according to the aforementioned variables? These are the variables that were mentioned in number two and number one. Now let's proceed to the fifth one. Since we already compare these variables or the classifications in every variables, the next thing that we're going to do is to ask, what uh, is there a significant relationship between the student's level of interpersonal skills and their level of self-esteem? Now, we are going to correlate already these two entities and check if they have a significant relationship or what is the relationship. And that is how we write our statement of the problem or SOP in the research title number one. Now let's proceed to our second research title, which is an action research. And we public school teachers are encouraged to work on our action research. And action research is classified into quantitative experimental research design because we are testing out an intervention. So the, when we work on an action research, the first thing that we're going to do is to find the gap or the research problem and once we find the gap in our community or research locale the next thing that we're going to do is to search on the possible solutions and provide intervention for this gap once we already found one the next thing that we're going to do is to test out if the intervention is effective or not so this is our research title TikTok videos as instructional support for people's numeracy skills. So what would be the possible gap or problem in this research title? So the gap, of course, in this research title will be all about people's numeracy skills. And what intervention program are we using in this research title? The intervention program is or are the TikTok videos which will serve as our instructional support. How are we going to write our statement of the problem? First is we need to write our general objective. This study aims to determine the effectiveness of TikTok videos as instructional support in improving pupils' numeracy skills. So that is our general objective, the main purpose why we are doing this research. The next thing that we're going to do is to write our specific objectives or the specific questions that we need to answer. First specific question, what is the level of people's numeracy skills before the intervention program is employed? For us to answer specific question number one, we need to conduct a pretest. Then, for specific question number two, what is the level of people's numeracy skills after the intervention program is employed? So, after we conduct the pretest, then the next thing that we're going to do is to integrate the intervention program in our learning activities and learning plans. Now, let's proceed to our third question. Is there a significant difference in the level of people's numeracy skills before and after the intervention program is employed? So now we'll be checking the differences between the two scores that we had earlier for the first two questions. Now for the fourth one, based on the results, what developmental program could be implemented? So we're done with our research title number two, which is an action research. If you plan to make an action research, this is how we usually write our statement of the problem. Now let's proceed to our third and last research title. This is quantitative descriptive design. It's assessment on the implementation of inclusive education as stipulated in Deped Order Number 72, Series of 2009. Quantitative descriptive design actually describes the characteristics of a population or a phenomenon. In this case, we are describing the implementation of inclusive program stipulated in Deputy Order Number 72 Series of 2009. Now let's proceed to writing our general objective. The general objective is this study aims to determine the extent of the implementation of inclusive education as stipulated in Deputy Order Number 72 Series of 2009 in the Division of Cardiff City. So this is how we write our general problem. The next thing that we're going to do is to proceed to our specific objectives or the specific questions. For our first question, what is the profile of the schools in the Division of Cadiz City in terms of A. Population B. School area C. Number of personnel who attended inclusive education training 
what is the extent of the implementation of inclusive education program in the schools of Cada City when taken as a whole and when grouped according to the following variables. We have A, population, school area, and third one, number of personnel who attended inclusive education training. For the third question, is there a significant difference in the extent of the implementation of inclusive education in the schools of the Division of Cada City when grouped according to the aforementioned variables. Now for the fourth one, based on the results, what developmental program could be implemented? So that is how we write our statement of the problem for a quantitative descriptive research design. I hope you have learned something in this episode. Thank you so much and keep on learning.